Hey there, welcome to or welcome back to No Pants Profits. My name is Richard and I'm coming to you today from Fort Myers, Florida, from some place I've driven by many times before but I've never been to before. iMag, right here. In the logo you see there's a water tower and there's a water tower there. It is a science and history center. Now here's the cool thing. I am a member at my local science and history center. And in being a member of my local science and history center, there's something called the ASTC passport system. Essentially what that allows me to do is my museum is a member and any other museum that's also a member will let me in for free. So since I'm a member of my museum, I pay about $80 a year for me and uh, a friend well, we're living in the same household officially as far as they're concerned, but me and a friend to be uh, dual members. We are uh, a uh, level dual plus at my local museum, and that allows you into a couple hundred other museums all over the country that are members of the American Science and Technology Center. This also works for zoos and other places like that, but not this. So Frost Science is my home museum. If I were to have a membership to say the Miami Metro Zoo or something like that, I'd be able to get in the Naples Zoo and all those. So I know absolutely nothing about this other than it's free. So join me along for the IMAG History and Science Center. Um, and we're going to go ahead and see uh, what's going on here. So join along. I hear there's fish. That's about all I know. So we'll see fish and more. Let me check in and I'll take you along for the ride. Also of note, they are closed on Tuesdays, but it does say ASTC passport program is accepted here. So I came by the other day, and it was a Tuesday, so I had to come back. All right, so I just flashed my ASTC passport at the admission desk there, and I'm good to go. This museum is uh, on the smaller side, $20 for adults, $15 for kids. When you get in, one of the first things you see is you will see a stingray tank. Now, stingray's got a bad rap after, a, you know, a little incident with Mr. Irwin. But uh, let's see if we can give him a, a little touch. Come here, Mr. Stingray. He's like, no, I don't want, my, I don't want your greasy hands on me. Um, they're going around. Let's see if we can get this one. This hands with water only, no soap. I did that. Can we get him? Oh, I think we got him. He's like, nope. Let's see if this... Okay. There we go. There we go. Ooh. He was not a fan of the touch. I touched only their wings. So they've got a big filtration system. Everything like that. And it looks like they've got something outside here couple outdoor exhibits. Let's see what we got. Oof. Let's talk about the Caloosahatchee River, which is the river that actually ran by, um, ran by where Edison, Edison's home was. They still got some signs for, um, the Koof. The Caloosahatchee River is all dammed up. We need to fix that. There we go. Look at that. Now, let the river, let the river flow. If you wondered how the Panama Canal works, watch you take the boats. Look, here's a visual, visual idea. You see the Panama Canal. Now you close the door, and you open the door, and there goes the boat, maybe. Yeah. So this is, okay, a lock and channel system there. Now we got some actual water here. If we wanted to, you could pump it up. It's a standard, pretty, pretty standard museum setup. You've got the water tower back here, which I think is more of a, uh, eh, or is that anything else? Hydroponics. Aquaponics. So you got the fish. I don't think it's running right now. I think the aquaponics tank is empty or it's so bright I can't actually see what's going on. Yeah, let's take a look at the outdoor activities first. Then we'll go back inside. Oh, they have turtles. I like turtles. It says turtle crossing. We have to find the actual turtles. 
a red-footed tortoise. Where are they? That's very hot. I wouldn't expect him to be out sunning. Is he in there? No. Oh, they're back there. They're back in that little, in that little cage in the back. Let's see what else we got. Oh, more turtles. I guess this place is a theater in the tank. I'll have to check that out. So they got a lot of animals out here. It's kind of eh, normal for science museum. Let's see. This is a, it should be a giant tortoise, African spored tortoise. Oh, there he is. Yeah, he's in his, he's in his hidey hole. We bite, do not climb. Hey, turtle! Hey, it's Franklin. It's the only turtle I know. You see him right there? It is May, and it's like 100 degrees in Florida already. I don't even want to know what summer's gonna be like. Just saying. Let's see what else we got. More turtles? More turtles! They really do like turtles here. That's Duke. He's an ornate box turtle. That's the kind of turtle you kind of have at home. And they are all standing the hell out of the sun today. He's back in his hidey hole too. I mean, I'm about to go in my hidey hole. That's the museum. Uh, we've got lagoon residents. Let's see. We've got solar trees. You might say, what are solar trees? Technically, all, all trees are solar trees. But uh, these solar trees have solar panels on them. Whoop. There's some solar trees. FPL solar trees. The other thing they're missing? USB ports. But even if they had USB ports on the trees, they would probably be the wrong type of USB ports. Bring me to life. Hold up. SolarNow.fpl. Uh, let's, let's record it with the phone. Who knows if I will actually remember to put this in the video or not. But I'm going to bring the solar tree to life. Maybe. The power of T-Mobile. Okay. His name is Sonny. And he's loading. Loading Sonny. Sunny will appear eight feet in front of you. Allow. Please turn on your sound and watch Sunny with your phone. Allow. Oh my god. Sunny is there. I mean, maybe not eight feet in front of me, but he's totally there. He's breaking his solar panels all over. God, Sonny. All right. I mean, that was something, I guess. Now Sonny has broken all of his solar panels. Oh, he's trying to teach us about solar panels. Ah. There will be 30 million solar panels by 2030, but FPL has ways to get you into solar today. Now, how about a selfie of us for all our Insta followers? Yeah, let's do it. Take a selfie with Sunny. Yes. That's me and Sunny. It's a Richie Sunny selfie. All right. Now now I have a selfie with a tap and hold your image to save. Save to photos. That's actually a really cute picture. I like it. All right. But much like those turtles, I think it's time to go back in our shell. Hashtag inside. Hashtag it's too damn hot out here. Hashtag I don't know why I can't go on this little river thing. Also, again, I've still not found the purpose for this guy yet. Oh, but I do think the internet says there's a hurricane simulator here. So we're gonna have to check that out. You know, this is just a, a lagoon and the different fish that could be in the lagoon for some reason. I, I mean, I can kind of tell you the reason. 
the lagoon looks pretty rotted over. I'll definitely buy some ice cream or something on the way out. Because even when you get into these places for free, I think this is the important thing. You know, you're not paying the admission. I buy some food, buy a drink, buy something to support them. Um, if it's something you guys are into, I might do a trip and hit a bunch of these ASTC passport places and see how they are. Let me know in the comments. Seriously, I'm not one that's always like, let me know in the comments, but um, they're all over the country. Could be cool. Combine that with like a moose lodge or something like that. All right. So we got a theater. I want someone to explain the water tower to me. Theater in the tank. There's an the entrance. Oh. Nice and cool in here. I mean, I guess it's supposed to be in a fish tank or something. But right now it just talks about the Rotary Club of Fort Myers. Theater exit. All right. IMAG Science Center. History of this property. There we go. This was the city of Fort Myers water treatment facility. Then a coal to gas conversion plant. City of Fort Myers vehicle fueling operations. There we go. Now we know what it's there for. All right. So, solar pavilion, whisper dishes, water tower, USS Mohawk Memorial Aquarium. Okay. Oh, we got stuff on the second floor. Science on a sphere. All right. Let's go in. Let's see uh, what we've got. Smoke free facility and grounds. I wasn't planning on smoking. All right. We've gone in our hidey hole. What is this? Is this a chameleon? I can't see him. I think that's the point. No, it's just a gecko. Just a gecko. Still can't see him. And I guess that's the point. All right. There's a, what's that guy? Tina. Black and white Tigu. This is in the back. Uh, if you don't like creepies and crawlies, we're probably looking at creepies and crawlies for a minute. There's a snake called Chubbs. Oh no, the Duke, the, the box turtle. I'm not seeing. Oh, there, oh my god. There he is. There's a bearded dragon. I was like, yeah, species. Bearded dragon. Got that one right. I doesn't really say what's in there. Oh, there's a gator. Mealworms. Oh, that's a snake. You can see him being snake-like right there. And there's a gator. I petted a gator about that size the other day at the Babcock Ranch. I haven't seen that one yet. We got a python. All right. I think, I think the creepy crawlies are done. Got a big old aquarium that's dedicated to the Mohawk, the USS Mohawk. Uh, there we want to. That would send the Mohawk forward to her final resting place. Three, two, to save her finished crew. All right. So it's a reef that was made of this ship. This is kind of an homage, if you will, to that reef. Of a model. An old military ship. Oh, look, is that fish going to get through? Is he going to get through? He looks a little too fat for that hole. Come on. I'm now invested now. See him back there? Oh, look at that there. He's trying. He's poking his head out the hole. Oh, no. Oh, no. Looks a little too big. All right. Oh. 
Oh. What are we doing this one? Oh. Is this is where we're joining you? Right here. Are you feeding the stingray? Yes. All right. I heard some blurgity blurgity, but it was, uh, there, I hear all the equipment instead in that room. Oh, yeah. Sure. All right. So, we got a stingray feeding, it seems like. Had the stingrays before at Stingray City. Oh, oh, well, they're, they're they're coming. There's like extra stingrays that came out because they know it's food time. Four. Oh. I did not see that there were four stingrays. All right. Uh -oh. So we do have two species. They are the larger species are called stingrays. And which stingrays are the ones that killed Steve Irwin? That's the real question. Yeah. Thank you. I fed them like squid before. All right. Oh, there they come. They know it's food time. They put down that little mat. And they know it's food time. Oh. 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 So they know. The other ones use the ball. Ah, oh, interesting. So they're feeding the stingrays. Gotta go. Gotta go. All right. Let's go check out the other side. Let's see. All right. So this is the hands-on haul. Molly Mosquito, she's gonna use her proboscis. I totally know Molly the Mosquito. Used to have a Molly the Mosquito, I think at my university uh, that I went to, which is kind of around the corner here. Push the button to listen to Molly. Hello, my name is Molly and I am a female mosquito. If I was a male mosquito, my antenna would be much larger and much bushier on the ends. Only female mosquitoes bite. I feed on nectar from plants to get my energy, but I need the protein from animal blood in order to produce my eggs. Let's see how I eat and how I can spread disease through my blood feeding activity. I use saliva in my feeding process and it is stored here in the salivary gland. I pump the saliva through my feeding apparatus called a proboscis. When I feed on plant nectar, it is pulled through my proboscis and goes directly into a special digestive organ called the crop. When I need a blood meal, I look for my favorite animal, which could be you. This is a cross section of a blood vessel. I inject saliva into the bite site through my proboscis to keep your blood from clotting or thickening. The saliva can cause an allergic reaction, which will make your skin itch. The blood is drawn up through my proboscis and goes past my crop and directly into my stomach. The blood is digested in my stomach. 
if the blood I take in or ingest is infected with disease organisms that can live in my body, such as malaria, dengue fever, or West Nile virus. The disease organisms will move through my stomach and over a period of several days begin to reproduce in many cells within my body, including the saliva in my salivary glands. After the disease organisms have grown and reproduced in me and are present in my saliva, the next animal or person I bite gets the infected saliva injected into their body and they may get sick from the disease organisms carried in my saliva. Nasty. Yeah. All right, we got a dino head. Doesn't really give us much information on it. Just looks like a standard purchased uh, dino head. Florida's changing sea life. Is that water there? Yeah, there's water. I'm not sure uh, what's going on. Are they trying to say that Florida has hills? That's what they're trying to say. Ancient Florida. Ice Age Florida. Florida today. I guess Florida has coastal highlands. I live on the coast. Or on the east. We're, we're on one coast now. We're on another coast. Yeah, I, I just thought. I thought Florida was Florida. Florida! Uh oh. That looks fun. I see some balls. Come on, tell me this works. No, looks like it might. All right. So, only one ball at a time. Well, look at that. There's a ball on the floor. Oh. doing anything? Oh, there we go. Hold up. There we go. We picked up. There we go. There's the ball I picked up. Some work on that. I thought we were gonna make it go up and around and everything like that, but no, just no. There is actually a lot of uh, Fort Myers history here. Not sure about these uh, seemingly 50 cal looking things. Just random 50 cal machine guns in a science museum. Okay. All right, maybe since the, the main ball thing doesn't work, we can make this ball thing work. Let's try. All right, there's a ball thing right here. Let's try this one. Should go. Whoop. Nope. Uh, I go try the other track. They do seem to have a fabrication lab, which seems to be like a 3D printing facility back here. I do appreciate these little per se local museums. This is not a Smithsonian or anything like that. Let's uh, there we go. Here's the ball. Oh. 
Nope. These balls are literally all over here. I'm gonna try and clean them up and on the way. It's not entirely sure where to put them. Guess I'll just leave them on that play surface there because I don't know where you can put them. I don't see any ball holders anywhere. Oh, okay, the balls are like all over. There's like a standard set of ball games. I'll show them to you. We got a ball. I was not paying attention. There's all kinds of balls. Let's try this one. So it should jump up over and it, oh. It's like flip cup. We have to figure out how much force exactly to put on the ball. No. Okay. A little bit less. There we go. Look at that. I got it in the hole. All right. We got a big uh, bear-like creature here. That is a uh, giant ground sloth. Remember. Probably, probably, probably this joke's well dead by the time this gets out. If you've got your daughter, would you rather have her in the woods with a giant ground sloth or a man? That's a good meme question. All right. First Street model. First Street of Fort Myers. I guess that's what Fort Myers used to look like back in the day. These are always pretty cool, though. I love that there's a computer up here running this, and you can see it with its LED lights. It's actually an elevation map. They have a semi-local museum that I'm a member of, and it will update live. So you can see, we'll build that higher, build it higher, and higher, and then the water's going to eventually fall off of it, and then it turns green. But if we wanted to flood this uh, coast area over here, all we do is flatten it out, and then watch the water flow. We gotta watch the water. Water flows in. Oop. All right. These are it's a dugout canoe, dug out from a tree, mortar and pestle. Mm. There's another. Those cracker cattle. The cracker cattle are everywhere in Florida. You'll see there's a cracker cattle right here. There's a cracker cattle. These do not touch the steer. Yeah. That's the Jacob Summerlin house. So there's a lot of history here. Virtual Fort Myers. 4 p.m. Welcome to virtual Fort Myers. Not really sure what that is. I assume it's a it's a VR thing that you put on your head. It's all I can assume it is. Yeah. I don't think we'll be here at 4 o'clock. It's currently uh, 3.15. But let's go upstairs. There is a full plane here. Seems to be a mosquito control plane from Lee County. And we got a couple things up here. They're working on the air conditioner today. Seems to be. Science on us here. Wow, well, it's like city names. Capital cities. Frozen. Let it go. All right. Keeping our waterways clean. Do you want to touch 
A meteorite? Sure, why not? Iron meteorite. I got it. Can you touch a meteorite? You can see this thing right bay from the top. Keeping our waterways clean. Seems to be the local news station telling you about runoff. Uh-oh, there's goo. Oh, there's goo. There's goo. See how runoff flows into our... All right. So yeah, this is a very localized museum for a lot of it. Um, double zeros, June is a tower high. Let's go with a terrible heat of spring. And we can see how it affects different areas of Lee County. Uh, let's see what else we got. Sea level rise, Google Earth. Oh, we got one of these. Oh, I like these. Yes. Excellent. I'm feeling some tingling on my hand. That's a plasma ball. Just a very large plasma ball. Really? Wow. Wow, that's a, that's a stretch. That the hurricane simulator is not included. The hurricane simulator is not included. Oh, good God. $6 by credit card, $3 by singles. I literally what it says, hold on. Transaction fee is 20 cents. User and debit, credit or debit card. Transaction fee may apply. Okay. It's only 20 cents. Okay. Let's, let's do it. Why not? Please select an item. Total sale. Thank you, have a great day. Not sure what's happening there. Currently unable to accept a card. I'd like to show you these experiences as they exist. So I'm in the hurricane simulator, but nothing's happening because it's currently unable to accept a card. Hey, at least I can touch a cloud. Or go in the smoking section. Totally up to you whether that's touching the cloud or going in the smoking section. It's a very, very, very small museum. I mean, you can literally see the entire thing from there. You can choose whether it's a place you want to stop or not. If you have a more impressive museum at home, honestly, truthfully, just become a member of it. And then you can stop by all these places for free. There's almost nothing unique in this museum. That's where I'm kind of at. Um, it does say, like, on the ASTC passport thing, it's like, the, you get a discount on... 3D rides or something. Um, there's a lot of upsell stuff once you're already here. It's like a T-Rex safari. And this, and that, and this. Oh, <laughs> that's not my cue ball. There's cue balls literally all over. Um, yeah. I'm going to go get some uh, ice cream. Because again, even, I believe they're doing the best they can with what they're given. I've shown you the whole museum. It's taken me slightly more than a half an hour to show you the whole museum. Um, and you can kind of uh, choose how you want to interpret it. That's just, uh, again, it's, it's a, an old water facility. Uh -huh. Kind of weird. That's just like a random 
half wall right there. Oh my gosh. Cookie dough, cotton candy, rainbow ice. I love mini melts. Just don't know what the price is. Let's see. Five dollars cash. Yeah. Let me see if I have a five dollar bill. Alright. That is the question of the day. Do I have a five dollar bill? Yes, I do. That means I get ice cream. Hmm. to at least support the museum a little bit. Spoon in the cup, it says on the arm. Yes, sock the ice cream. It's a little tiny like vacuum cleaner on a stick, a reverse hair dryer. I, mean, I think a vacuum cleaner is just a reverse hair dryer anyway. And it's just gonna take it there and whoop. Oh, it's not even gonna drop it that far. It'll drop a little bit. All right. So I've got my ice cream. We've gone ahead and we have uh, seen all of the iMag. Thank you. We've seen all, all the iMag there. And this is Richard from No Pants Profits. Going to go enjoy his ice cream, not on camera. Reminding you that when you wear no pants, especially the science museum, the only thing you get left to lose is your shirt. Have a great one. See you around the west coast of Florida.